verb conjugation with regular verbs. This is a review. So, first and foremost, let's take a look at what we know about verbs. In verbs, we typically learn them in German in an infinitive form. So, kosten, the infinitive form, is to cost. Now, infinitives have what are called a stem. And so, the stem is basically the main part of the verb minus the en ending. So, in the verb kosten, the stem is kost. En is the infinitive ending. If the stem ends in a T or a D, we need to add a buffer E, meaning when it's time to conjugate, um, I'll show you what happens there. So these are the endings, right? We call it est, ten, ten, E-S-T, T-E-N, T-E-N. So if we have a verb like kosten, we can say ich koste, but if we, that just ends in an N, but if we need to say you cost, which is also weird, you wouldn't say I cost or you cost, this, because it ends in a T, we need to go ahead and add a buffer E. So, ich koste, du kostest. Here's he has kostet, right? So, this would be another one where we would want to head and go ahead and add a buffer E. So, Here's yes, kostet. Wir kosten. Ihr kost. I have to have a buffer E, kostet. And then Z, kosten. So that's what would happen with uh, kosten. Right. The endings, um, if it's something else, then we don't have to worry about that buffer E. So if we have the verb, for example, kaufen, the first thing we want to do in our three step process is figure out the stem. So the stem of kaufen is cow. Now for subject verb agreement, we want to go ahead and we want to look at um, what's the subject that we're looking for. So the subject for this example is ich. So we have the stem, which is cow. We have our um, subject, which is ich. We can now take that and put the stem cow into ich. And we get ich kaufe. Ich kaufe ein Buch. I buy a book. So this is sort of our um, regular verb waltz. Stem subject ending. Stem subject ending. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we're going to go ahead and examine some regular verbs in German. So kosten is the weird one. Ich koste. Du kostest. Er sie es kostet. Wir kosten, ihr kostet, sie kosten. Of course, if you want to repeat or pause to write this down, you're welcome to pause and rewind as needed. Next up, schmecken, to taste. Ich schmecke, du schmeckst, er sie es schmeckt, wir schmecken, ihr schmeckt, sie schmecken. Trinken, to drink. Ich trinke, du trinkst, er sie es trinkt, wir trinken, ihr trinkt, sie trinken. Bringen, to bring. Ich bringe, du bringst, er sie es bringt, wir bringen, ihr bringt, sie bringen. So once again, noticing what we've got here in terms of S, T, E, N, S, 10, 10. So they're following E, S, T, T, E, N, T, E, N for our endings. Sitzen is weird, so watch out for this. Sitzen in the do er sie es, there's no, uh, sorry, my mistake. Um, in the do, there's no s. So ich sitze, du sitzt, er sie es sitzt, wir sitzen, ihr sitzt, sie sitzen. And then we have schicken to send. Ich schicke, du schickst, er sie es schickt, wir schicken, ihr schickt, uh, sie schicken. Schreiben. Ich schreibe, du schreibst, er sie er schreibt, wir schreiben, er schreibt, sie schreiben. So, you would say, Ich schicke Frau Braun eine E-Mail. Wir schreiben einen Brief. 
wie viel kostet eine Cola? Hans bringt seine Freundin für die Party. Der Hamburger schmeckt sehr gut. Heidi und Helga trinken gern Limonade.